Well, 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 well. Welcome back, everyone. And today, we are going to be continuing painting on the miniatures. I let them dry overnight. They're good and dry. And we are going to be putting two types of paint on today. Today, we're going to be doing all of the um, Kislev. Kislev? Kislev? I, I'm not 100% sure on how to pronounce this, but I'm hoping I'm getting close. Kislev. Kislev. Or Kislev. Maybe it's Kislev. Um, we're going to be putting Kislev flesh on all of the fleshy bits, which there isn't many, so this is probably going to be last. But this is going to be... Actually, you know, we'll do this first since there isn't many. But uh, on all the leather bits, all the leather belts and stuff, we're going to be putting this leather color. So if we look in here and we zoom in... Uh, there we go. So the part that I'm talking about are this, this, this right here, you know, these right there, right there, M not the sack, uh, we'll, we'll do the sack in the leather, that's, uh, yeah, fine, we'll do, the, we'll do it in leather, that's fine. His little belt right there, you see that, we'll put that in there, that's supposed to be metal, but that's, a, oh no, that's supposed to be the fabric, so we're all right there. Yeah, and we'll do that on all of these. See the belt, the belt. If this goes fast enough, we'll put on another coat of the lighter color, but we'll see what we get to. Okay, so as always, we get right into the painting. I think I am going to start off with a flesh because there's not very many, many fleshy bits. So we're going to give it a good shake. Open this baby up here. Put it in our little citadel holder. Get our brush nice and wet. And there we go. So let's start off with this guy first, I think. And let's zoom in, actually. Because we're gonna be working on his face primarily. So we're gonna try. We're gonna try our best, and we're gonna try our best to not hit his hair, his hairline. Even though his hairline is uh, gonna be a different color, and go ahead and get it in his eyes too. That's okay. You can see how how shaky my hands is. I'm actually just, I'm not brushing anything. I'm just letting my shaky hands do all the work. Just kind of pushing it around. And I'm letting my shaky hand do all that work. Oh, come on there. There we go. Hit that ear right there. His face is a little tough to paint here, actually. For a little bit more here. Remember that we want this to be really thin. We want this to be. Oh, oops, sorry, my bad. We want this to be really thin because <clears throat> we don't want to lose any of that detail in his face. A little bit more here. Alright, just like that. I'm letting my shaky hands do all the work for me. One thing to work on when painting is actually your breathing techniques. Because your breath actually causes you to be more or less shaky. Oops. Moving my tripod again. My bad. Hold on. Hold on, everybody. So, you work on your breathing techniques, and then you improve your painting. You see, improving your, your breathing techniques, slowing down, or whatever, that actually, that actually helps out. 
with your you know, all your stress and stuff like that. That's you're slowing your breath down. I'm not trying to get everything done at once and rush. You're just breathing in nice and slowly. So I'll probably have to put maybe another coat on the uh, on the hands at least probably maybe more than likely I will and remember don't get don't get too worried about all the super fine details on these guys oh, wait, zoom out here. Did we decide that was flesh? No, that was definitely the leather. So we're gonna we're gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna put just a little bit on his neck. You can see down there that's his neck. So we're gonna we're gonna add a little paint down here. There we go. Don't really need to worry about. So in this back area right here, see if I can zoom in. Don't worry about that down there, because when we hit it with the with the shade, it's all gonna go away anyway. So don't worry about it. So there we go. There's that guy. And like I said, I don't think there's very much. Like we, this guy has a two hands. This guy has two hands. Like, cause see, I I printed off models that only one dude had a face. So this is gonna be a quick color, not too. Not too tough. I mean, two hands, you can't really complain with that. I mean, come on. So, yeah, we'll just we'll paint, the, we'll paint the hand like we did the other. Just nice and easy. Now, again, if you get a little bit of that skin color on the armor don't worry about it we're gonna have to come back and touch these up remember so don't worry about it don't be like oh man I ruined my paint it's all over now no don't worry about it don't worry about it I hope everyone's staying safe in this uh the troubling times that we're in but I also hope that everyone is having a good time personally I believe that the pandemic has pulled a lot of people closer together maybe not everybody obviously but I think a good amount of people have been pulled closer together because of this and that's how you make a tragedy, a tragedy into a good thing. Bringing people closer together. Caring for one another. Alright, let's 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 keep this up here. And you get a better tripod. A bigger one, taller one, something like that. This is a good one that my buddy gave me. I'm just going to need a bigger one to get closer up into these paint jobs here. And for everyone that's a new painter, I want you to make sure that you look at what this paint job looks like right now. And you can see that, you know what, this is a process, right? This is... We're slowly gaining up, and then that that wash that we put on, oh my goodness, you guys are going to think it's like magic. Now eventually, right, eventually, you're going to, you know, move on from the shaders, right? You won't need those anymore. You don't need them. 
but until that time, it's good to, you know, work with what you got. All right, now we're moving on to the, the little, oh, look, we got a little spider here. Look at that. Come here. Nope, he's running away. That's fine. I guess we had a little spider. Decided to join us, huh, spider? Uh, so we have this, so we have this, uh, This leather brown. I don't know what happened to that little spider. Little guy. I don't want to accidentally hurt him. Leather brown. We're going to put on our palette. And we're going to paint all of those little bee spots. We're going to try to do this as quick as we can here. Give it a good shake. Pour some of that out. It's nice and watery already. Which is great. We'll put just a little bit out. Make sure our brush is... Nice and moist from our clean water pail. And then we're going to be working with this guy right here. So we're going to zoom in. <clears throat> zoom in. Maybe. There we go. Now this is a much lighter color. So we might need one or two coats. Maybe not. That's a pretty good color right there. Remember to slow down your breathing while you're painting. This will help. Look at that. Going back for a little bit more paint here. Do that last belt buckle at the top. Now, I want you to notice that I didn't press hard when I was putting on that paint. It was a very soft, like look at this, I'm barely touching it. Barely touching. And the reason for that is the tip of the brush will do all that heavy lifting for me. The tip of the brush, it'll take care of that paint. It, it knows where it wants to go. It wants to go on top of that little belt buckle. There we go, look at that. There. Now see these ones underneath here? Not a big deal if we get them because they're all going to be dark anyway. No one's really going to see them. So don't really worry too much about them. But we can, we'll throw some paint on there anyway. Alright, oh, I hope I got that on camera. And now we're going to move on to this belt here. And we're just going to go across it just like that. Hit all those little bitty spots. Those look like potions to me, so we'll probably hit them with some, some crazy colors. Now he's got a belt down in there. We're going to try to hit it. I don't know if you can see this or not, but because it's so dark. Let's see. Let's see if I can zoom in more. Yeah, you see that belt right there? We hit the, we hit the armor a little bit, but that's okay. So let's go back to the front now. And we'll hit the belt buckle right there. Now the belt buckle, eventually, I want to want that, the actual, I shouldn't say actually the belt buckle, the belt itself, it needs, I want it to be this color, but then the belt buckle, I want to be the metal. So if we don't get a perfect coat on here, don't worry about it too much. But there we go. So we got the belt buckles on his back. Um... Oops, can we focus on his arm here? I think I'm going to leave his arms. I think the arms are fine. There are probably some straps on there, but I think I think it'll just look better if I, if I leave it. So let's move on to the next guy. Yeah, because from far away, he's starting to look like a figure, huh? He's got some belt buckles on him. 
oh, we wanted to do, oh no, we want to do those in the lightest color. All right. So let's move on. Make sure we got a nice moist brush. Making sure our paint's nice and moist still. And uh, let's zoom in here. Now again, watch this. Watch. We're, we're, I'm keeping my brush almost as far away as I can, and I'm just kind of flicking it, almost barely touching it, barely touching. And that's what I want. I want it to barely touch. We're trying to position, position the figure so we can get down in here. There. Yeah, just take it nice and slow. We're, again, this is this isn't a race. We're just trying to paint some models and have some fun. All right. Got a little bit on this side. There. Oh, he's got a... He actually got some on his leg right there we can get. So let's go ahead and get those two. Let's get this one right here. We'll get this side. A little spider returned. Well, as long as he stays alive. Some people don't like spiders. Me personally, I don't really mind them. They keep the other bugs away. And they're about as afraid as you of you as you are of them, so Not very many spiders will come back and attack you. That's not really what they do. That's not the spider way. The spider way is ambush, right? That's their that's their secret to staying alive. And you can't stay alive if you're always trying to fight stuff that's bigger than you. All right, another one done. Let's keep moving along here. This one's this one's got a good amount, so we're gonna wash our brush. Notice how between each fig, we wash our brush completely. We wash our brush in the clean or the dirty pot, then the clean pot, making sure we have a nice clean brush and then our bristles. Oh, there he is. Do you see him? Look, little guy. Now. We don't want to kill these guys, so. Alright. Poor little spider. He just wants to know where he needs to go. He doesn't know where he belongs in life. I can understand that. It's hard to find where you belong. It's never easy. And anybody who tells you that it is, is, are they kidding themselves? Life is tough, but it is what you make it. So if you try hard and work on everything that you love, there's no way you won't have a good time doing it. And that's what we're doing here. Just having a good time painting. Because what I enjoy and I hope it's what you enjoy. I know that uh, 
some people. They just, they want everything to go right. They don't want anything to go wrong. They always want to be right. They never want to be wrong. Well, I don't mind being wrong. And in fact, I encourage it sometimes. Because then, it gives those other people a chance to show others, aka me, that they know what they're talking about. Okay, I got a little too much over here, so let's, let's get that off of there before it dries up, huh? There we go. Look at that. Oh, well, we got one down here. We missed. It's crazy how a little spider that a lot of people are afraid of, it can make you think. It can make you think like, hey, you know, maybe life isn't so bad. After all, I'm not a spider. I'm trying to figure out where I belong in life. Always being chased off. Always being underestimated. <laughs> but you know what? You won't be chased off here. Not by me. That's not going to happen. Because I believe you can do it. I believe that you can paint these models the same way, if not better, than the way I'm painting them now. In the next video, we're going to finally paint these swords, the weapons. The weapons here, the weapons on this guy, and the weapons on this guy. What we'll be using to paint the weapons... These two greens, I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with, probably with the darker one first, and we'll do the highlight after, we'll do this highlight after the, uh, after the wash. And then for the bands, we're going to be using this desert sand. And we're also going to be putting the desert sand on the cloth. So this cloth, that cloth, probably the satchel maybe, I'm not too sure yet, we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, cloth, cloth, on the cloth here, um, on the cloth there, and, oh, and maybe, maybe the, uh, nah, not just a cloth, not, not the necklace, we'll leave the necklace as is. Okay, well, thanks again everyone for tuning in, for joining, for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, I will see you all later. Peace out.